regards to the three different types of gases, we have this hydrogen sulfide variation, but what makes it so different or what sets it apart from the other two, which are methane and hydrogen? Yeah, it's really it's really interesting because hydrogen and methane gas is only made by bacteria and archaea, like meaning humans don't make it. And so it's a little easier for us to figure this out because when we do a test, a breath test, which is how we test for this, and we measure those gases, we know it's coming from these other organisms. But with hydrogen sulfide, humans make that gas, and actually so does a certain yeast. But humans make it, and it's beneficial for us in the proper amounts, in normal amounts. It's a sort of a reparative substance. It goes in when there's an injury, and can and it's it helps. And so, but when it's in a large amount, when it's in an excess amount, it's it's not good at all. And in fact, it's toxic. It's toxic to our mitochondria and our nerves. So it's a neurotoxin, actually, in large excess amounts. So, you know, when we're doing a breath test and we now actually have a breath test that can test this gas directly, we didn't used to. It's about the amount. It's, you know, it's it's like the amount is what matters 